we want to start showing you what we mean by an oblique, an oblique pyramid, an uh, oblique, oblique prism, oblique prism. Now, here we have our simple box, three by four by five. Okay, the volume of which is okay, base area three times four. Okay, which is twelve times five, which is uh, twelve times five for sixty. So uh, if I I made this a group, the entity information says that I have sixty cubic feet. Okay. Now I want to I want to um, uh, move this out of the way, and I want to build another box uh, with the same dimensions. Okay, another box with the same dimensions. So give me a, uh, a minute. I'll come right back to you on that. Okay, I'm back. We got another box identical to the one we constructed, and I want to show you what I mean when we do an oblique prism, an oblique prism, okay? So an oblique prism, what I'm going to do, I did not make a group out of this, okay? I'm going to choose the move tool, and I'm just going to, uh, actually I'm going to do a selection of my lid here. Then I'm going to use my move tool, my move tool, and I'm going to move this, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to move this, and I don't want to distort the shape of it. I, I mean, obviously, I'm distorting the shape. I don't want to distort the volume of it, so I'm just going to slide it over a little bit. Okay, I'm going to slide it over, and we get a complete different figure. We get a complete different figure, but I will assure you that this box has the same volume as this box. I did not lose any volume, okay? This now, take a look at it from a different perspective, all right, is what we call an oblique, an oblique, okay, oblique prism, an oblique prism. It's like tilted on its side, okay? So uh, let's go and make a group so we can figure out the volume of this thing, all right? I'm going to make a group out of this so we can figure out the volume. So I'm going to triple click it. I'm going to make a group out of it. Okay, uh, make a make a make a group, right? Then I'm going to right click and go to the entity information and find my, my volume it is still the same, 60 cubic feet, 60 cubic feet. How is that? How is that? Okay, because I'm going to look at uh, okay at this and we're going to examine it a little bit uh, to see why that is remaining the same volume, 60 cubic feet, 60 cubic feet, okay? So, uh, in fact, okay, I want to know uh, what is the formula. Well, the formula is still the same formula for the prism. It's the base area times the height. The base area times the height, okay? The base area times the height. But now, okay, my base has been shifted. So the height that I'm going to need, okay, is still this height of 5. But that 5 is this height that's often given to you, okay, uh, as we'll see here. The, the, the thing still stands 5 feet high, okay? It still stands 5 feet high. But the, the length of the edge here is not 5 feet. The vertical drop straight down is the 5 feet you want. So typically when you have these oblique prisms, the height measurement that they give you, okay, is, well, i tell you what, i got to draw a line. And this is still going to be, I'm going to draw a line straight down, right to the x-axis, okay? And then I want to measure the length of that line, and that should still be the 5 feet. Okay, that should still be the five feet. So I'm going to measure the length of that line going down. There it is. That line is five feet. So this, this prism still stands five feet tall. It still stands five feet tall. Okay, but okay, the length of the edge here is no longer five feet. Okay, it's no longer five feet. It is actually, as you can see, longer, 5 feet 3 and 3 sixteenths of an inch. But still, the formula that I want 
for, okay, the, um, for the volume of this prism is the base area, which is no different, it's 3 by 4, which is 12, and the height is 5, which is the height which it stands right there, not the length, not the height of the uh, edge there, but the height that it stands above ground. So, it, so a little something, a little neat, a little different, okay, that's called an oblique prism, oblique prism, it has the same formula, okay, same formula, oblique oblique prism and again area is the same base area times the height again the only difference the height is not the edge of the the uh, prism now it's the height that it stands the, the distance between the two bases okay the vertical distance between the two bases if you will okay that's oblique prisms